Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare. It is the morning of day 29. Let's go ahead and get these forges turned on. This one is smelting down brass and crafting out bullet tips. This one is smelting down stone and crafting cement. And this one is smelting down iron and clay and crafting out as much steel as we can. So we got to work on getting that iron back up. And of course, uh, all the mixers are making concrete and crushed sand. All right, let's get a move on. First thing we are doing today is heading over to the base, or bases, I should say. We got to put down some hatches. I want to put a bedroll down in our main base, and uh, I want to do a little bit of building to our second base. And then after that, we're going to go see Trader Jen because uh, her inventory restocked yesterday, I believe. So we're going to go see Jen. We're probably going to go see Jen number two and Rick today as well. There we go. We'll see if that bedroll does anything in terms of keeping the zombies from spawning in here. I think they were spawning in here. I mean, the zombies that we found inside our escape tunnel, two horde nights in a row, they had to have been spawning down there. So we'll see if the bedroll prevents that, even though we're going to be fighting the horde uh, on in this base tomorrow. We're going to start here anyway. So I'm going to put uh, this hatch right here and another hatch. Uh, we got to go advanced rotation. Bam, right there, right? Yeah. And uh, with these two closed, that'll uh, kind of pause the zombies right here. And we'll be able to shoot at them a bit. So let's upgrade these. And then I'm going to put in two more hatches uh, right where the uh, sledgehammer turret is going to be. Okay, now we'll go back to simple rotation. And bam. Now with these hatches up, now we'll keep the zombies stuck right here. The sledgehammer turret is going to be right there, pushing them off the edge and sending them into a loop. So let's go ahead and get these upgraded. And these uh, hatches, I'm actually going to upgrade all the way to vault hatches because these are going to be the most important. This is where we want to keep the zombies at bay as long as possible. So uh, I don't have the vault hatches on me now. I'll get those crafted tonight and we'll upgrade these to vault hatches tomorrow. So this is where we're going to be standing during the fight. We'll be able to shoot at the zombies down there, and then when they break through, we'll deal with them up here until... Oh, look at this. We can test out the base a little bit right now. Uh, this is not where I'm going to be standing tomorrow, and I'm probably not going to be using a melee weapon either. I kind of let the sledgehammer turret do the job of the melee weapon, and I'll just be hanging back with the shotgun and probably the AK or whatever. Oh, jeez, I'm just fucking destroying my hatches here. See, this is not the best design for uh, melee action, but that's not what I plan on doing. Like I said, I plan on uh, kind of letting the sledgehammer turret go to work, and uh, I just want to see how that works, you know? Because then we can always put, like, blade traps down below, or electrical fence posts, or uh, dart traps, or whatever, you know? Uh, this could just be like a trap base. So in the event the zombies are going to break through these vault hatches right here, we could either just, you know, bail out and head for the main base at that point. Got a zombie over there. Um, or we could retreat up here. So let's build something up here in the event we want to retreat up here. So I'm going to leave a space open right there, of course. And we're just going to build up a couple of rows. All right, now let's go up two more times in each corner. Nice, and we're going to use those columns to kind of build uh, a rooftop off of using bars. And then, of course, put hatches here in the doorway. And if we have to bail from here, we can always go down into the escape tunnel. So I'm going to maybe build something out from there as well and down and put some bars here to prevent... Uh, being attacked from vultures while up on the uh, the ramp. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how well it works out. If we do that though, we're basically going to seal ourselves in there and then the only way to escape is going to be down through the tunnel. 
but that's fine with me. So all we need really to finish this off is uh, the vault hatches and some iron bars, and we also need to continue digging our escape tunnel, which we will do later on or this evening. For right now, let's go see Jen. I got a bunch of shit to sell her, and I got some money to spend, so we'll see if she's got any ammo or good stuff to buy that's going to help us out during the horde. Now, you know, all the traders inventory restocked, but I'm not going to go see all five traders right now. We already found the crucible and our ammo pile is, is really good. Well, so I'm not going to go crazy. Uh, we're going to eat this butt here. Jen likes it when you eat the butt in front of her. And who am I to deny her that pleasure? There you go. Jen bought everything I have because she has infinite money, which is fucking ridiculous. I don't care what you say. It's a weird mechanic in the game. And it leads to nothing but people exploiting traders. So, give them limited funds. Don't let them be able to buy everything in your inventory. I know one of the arguments is, well, sometimes they don't buy everything. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. They buy basically everything. Maybe if you're trying to sell them eight wrenches, they won't buy all eight of them. But there's plenty of other traders around that will. She's got a truck, which we can afford right now, but uh, I'm good. I guess I'll buy this sniper book, even though we don't really use uh, a sniper rifle. But one day we might decide that we want to. She's got a level 3 marksman rifle, which we can afford, but uh, I think I'm good on that. Yeah, if I'm going to start using a sniper, I would rather use the sniper rifle that was added into the game recently. I like that one better. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to head south. I'm not really digging the, the town down south, so let's uh, actually... If we're going to go see Gen number 2, we might as well just stop home and drop uh, this shit off in the storage chest out front. Then we'll go see Gen number two, then we'll go see Rick, and we'll do some looting in the town up north. I think there are better POIs up there than there are in the town down south. And that'll probably be it for the day. Go see three traders, do some looting. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish off uh, the base, and we'll be ready to fight a horde. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> good thing I keep rounds in this pistol. Oh, here comes a dog. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Fucking screamers. What was she like, waiting for me? Here comes another dog. Come on. Oh, that's fun. More. She must be it. All right. Let's use a bandage here. And uh, let's be on our way. What do we got in here? Oh, you know what? I'll take the oh shit drops. Might want to use those again here sometime soon. What up, oh, Jen? You Man, you ever have deja you? vu? I'm having it right now. Let's see what you got in your inventory. Uh, I'm gonna take these hubcap mines. Why not? We'll put them out front of the base. Gunpowder, shotgun shells, AP 44 Magnum, regular 44 Magnum, bullet tips. That's it. Let's check her stash. Shotgun shells. And... That's pretty much it. see what we got in here. Hi, candy. Sweet. And I'm going to take this chicken ration, too, because we're getting a little hungry. Eat that now. What Another up, Rick? Day. What do you got? Gunpowder. Magnum ammo. Shotgun shells. I'm going to skip the slugs. Let's get the bullet casings. Bullet tips. Now, I'm not skipping the slugs because I think they're inferior. Uh, I skip them because usually they 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 sell in in small quantities. Ten here, fourteen there, five here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, I guess I could be working towards building up a stockpile of those, but uh, I don't even bother. I think we read the book that allows us to craft slugs, so we could look into crafting them. 
just not worried about it at, at this time. You know what I mean? Uh, the, our, the standard shotgun ammo works just fine. Let's uh, scrap this can. And let's go find uh, somewhere to loot. This place looks interesting. I always like checking out houses that are completely unfamiliar to me because I'm sure there are plenty of houses in this game I've never even been inside yet. Here we go. This must be the way in. All right. Hey, zombies. Where are you at? Uh, I'll take the sewing kit, scrap the boots. Looks like it for in here. Oh, I see Kenny's dirty ass feet. Let's wake him up. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm being sneaky today. That's got to be coming from outside. Sounds like they're trying to break in through the front door. Got a duffel bag up there. I can't reach it. Let's uh, close this door. Bust this plate out of the way. Empty can. I'm glad I spent the time to loot that bag. All right. Oh, got a backpack right there, and then we better check what's going on down here. Yeah, they're trying to break in through the front door. We got a little bit of time left. Let's uh, get in here real quick. Murky water, no thanks. I'll take the grain alcohol. I'll take the acid. That's it for in here. Let's uh, check these bookshelves. Read, read. I'm reading everything we already know. Um, close that door. Oh, got a ladder going up right there. I'll scrap the nails, take the plastic parts. Let's check this desk and nightstand. A puffer coat. I think I already have one, but I'll hold on to this one anyway, just in case. I'll scrap that poncho, though. Let's see what's going on up here. Little attic. Looks clear. Got a box. Oh, okay. Take all that. Shotgun shells and uh, headlight. That drops down into the bathroom, which we've already searched. And we got a backpack with the vitamin. And uh, that seems to be it for up here. Now we got some stairs going up here to what looks like another part of the attic. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, cop. All right, he's dead. Well, other than the cop, it looks like just a bunch of trash and a little bit of cobblestone and cement. I'm going to go ahead and grab the cement. I'm good on the cobblestone, though. We've got a, a good amount of cobblestone back at home, and we're really not going to be using that anymore. It's all going to be about concrete and rebar frames from uh, moving forward. Oh, hey, buddy. Slow down. Oh, shit. Probably should just be keeping the shotgun out, right? I got so many shotgun shells. But, you know, the sledgehammer does well. It's just when you get caught off guard. All right, let's close that door. And uh, let's search the kitchen before we head downstairs. One nail. I think I'll scrap that. Uh, Painkillers. Feathers, I'm good. Nothing in the trash can. Oh, there we go. It's a 9mm. Scrap that cooking pot. I'm not going to take the glass jars. So let's go down here and see what's going on. Oh, hey, lady. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm fucking so sloppy today. Fuck it. Sledgehammer. There we go. All right. I was just, I'm just being too relaxed. That's what the problem is. Where are these zombies at? Behind this door? Oh, here we are. Let's go ahead and take this painkiller. We might as well. We're being sloppy. Let's get our health back up to full. Oh. 
Well, looks like we're getting in here the old-fashioned way. Not bad. That armor plating mod will do well. We'll have to see where we can put that later. Workbench is destroyed. Take those steel sledgehammer parts, but I'm not going to bother taking apart that workbench right now. Uh, it, it gets to a point where uh, it's just not worth it anymore. Scrap the brass, take the duct tape. Let's see what the hell is going on down here. There's a lantern, so it's got to be the way to go. Um, oh, here we go. All right. It's like the basement. Oh, you know what? This is where all the zombies came from, I think. Hey, here's the main stash. Yeah, it should be clear down here. We killed all the zombies at the top of the staircase. Nice. Machine gunner book. Uh, fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot. Oh, you hear that sound? That means we have read all of the automatic weapons books. We'll check that out in a second and see what extra perk we get since we've read them all. Good on those sandwiches. Here we go. Five Molotovs. All right, let's see uh, what we got here. Uh, books. Automatic weapon handbook. Offensive strike. Use the fury of combat adrenaline. Uh, each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. Especially if we have to end up fighting on foot, you know? Yep. Why not? Let's check the vending machine out here. Ooh, two pieces of eye candy. Oh, my coin is uh, in the motorcycle. Let's grab some of it. Grab this eye candy. And I'll take some food, too, because we're uh, a little hungry. All right. Eat this food. Scrap the cans. And, uh, let's go to the strip club. Where are you at, strippers? Here's one. Bing! Oh, shit! She's quick. She's nimble. That's what you get for working at a strip club. Cop, what are you doing in the strip club, man? Go out and solve crimes. Look at this guy, sleeping on the job. Oh shit. I only got six shells left. I must have dropped them into the motorcycle by accident. Let's go get those back. Can't be trying to clear a strip club with five shotgun shells left. Give me those. Let's check the guy's bathroom. The girl's bathroom we have to get in through the rooftop, I believe. Oh, pistol in the toilet. Scrap that for the pistol parts. Nothing in there. Let's pop this plug open. Medical pile. Some animal fat. Here's another plug. Another medical pile. Some gunpowder. We'll get in that room eventually. Some glue and a painkiller. And I think that's it for in here. Let's go in through the kitchen. Okay, that leads up to the roof. Let's close this door. And uh, check the kitchen out here. Scrap the grill. I'm good on the glass jars. Nothing. Empty can. Let's see if we got any more mega crushes in here. We got one. Nice. A lock pick. All right. Now, I'll take that chair, scrap it for the leather. I'll scrap this for the lead. Ooh, we got a great heist book. Learn how to craft timed charges. 
Now, I, I gotta be honest, I've never used those things in this game before. I heard they are really good for breaking into safes, though. So, I'll look into that later. Maybe I'll craft some of those just for the hell of it, and next time we're out looting, I'll bring some, and we'll see just how effective they are in breaking into safes. Yeah, I told you we gotta drop into the ladies' bathroom from up here, and we woke up some zombies. Must be down here. Let's just go. See what we got in the toilet. Murky water, I'm good. I'm good on that. Let's pop this plug open. Backpack. Ah, eh, whatever. What's up, Mo? Dead. Come on. Dead, with a loot bag, nice. Okay, sounds clear. Ooh, that's, I'll take the magnum ammo. I'll drink one of these water bottles, but uh, I'm good on the rest of it. Uh, this plug we just popped open, right? Yeah, that's the backpack. Okay, anything behind here? Yeah, another backpack. Glass jars. Trash in the corner. Take the glue. And that's it for in here. The main stash is on the main stage right here. Grab this chest. Nice. Take all of that. Let's pop this open. And then we also have an ammo pile here. Take that and this. And uh, I think we're done here. Not bad. Hour 17. We could push it and loot another POI, but uh, I think I'm good. Let's just... Uh, well, this might be the fastest way to get out of here. Oh, fucking trash can. Uh, let's just roll. Let's head back home, drop some stuff off, grab the auger and uh, some gasoline. We'll head over to the second base and we'll dig our escape tunnel. So that's done, so we don't have to worry about doing that tomorrow. Ah, uh, mushroom wall is coming along nice. Here's an interesting fact about mushrooms you may not know. They breathe oxygen and release CO2. Just like we do. Isn't that fucking interesting? I guess my point is human beings are basically a fungus. There we are. Now I'm gonna start digging towards the, uh, the first base. This way, if we have to escape through this tunnel, we'll come up close by our first base and uh, we can just run inside, pop the hatches up and we'll be good to go. Alright, so we have to start digging to the north. This way. Alright, that's probably good. Yeah, I think we could start working our way up. Let me, uh, let's break two more blocks here. And then we'll put in the, the wall. That's where we'll put the frames in. We'll start putting a, a ladder on these frames. And working our way towards the surface. Alright, there we go. Bam. Now, let's uh, open this up, frame it out, put in a hatch, and we are done. We'll just have to come back tomorrow and uh, upgrade these blocks a bit more with cobblestone and concrete. Did I hear something? Oh, yeah, here we go. Got a little group over here. Fuck off, lady. Well, let me uh, finish my work, and then we'll take care of that little group. Over here, shitheads.
All right, so our main base is good to go. We could continue upgrading that with steel if we want. But I'm definitely going to craft two steel vault hatches tonight. But we're going to use those over at the second base. Um, I need to craft some iron bars for the second base as well. For the rooftop. And think about how I kind of want to do the overhang to protect us from vultures while we're uh, up there fighting. And that's pretty much it. So uh, first thing we'll do in the next episode is get that base uh, ready to go. And then we'll have the rest of the day to kind of fuck around, do some looting while we wait for the horde to show up. So guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.